Philippines channel, don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment. This time, we will focus on exponential equations. Particularly, we will put our full attention in this video on solving exponential equations. So let's start. Example 1. Solve for x in 8 equals 2 to the x. Solving an exponential function differs from solving other types of functions. Merely because the unknown which we are going to solve for, which is usually x, acts or functions as an exponent in the equation. So the goal is to make the basis equal first because this is an equation. This equal sign tells us that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So let us begin. This is the given exponential function. How will we express 2 in terms of 8 or how will we express 8 in terms of 2? Because that is the goal. 8, as we know, is 2 cubed. So we may rewrite that as 2 cubed equals 2 to the x. Since both bases are 2, they are the same, then that means this equal sign tells us that their exponents are also equal. So we may equate 3 equals x. And by symmetric property of equality, that is, the known x is equal to 3. By checking, if we make this 3, 2 cubed is 8. Example 2. Solve 2 fifths to the 3x power equals 16 over 625 to the x minus 1 power. Let us begin solving. This is the given equation. For us to solve for the value of x, which is in the exponent, again, the goal to meet is make the bases the same. So how will we express 16 over 625 in terms of 2 fifths? Notice that 16 is 2 to the 4th and 625 is 5 to the 4th. So this right-hand side may be rewritten as 2 fifths to the 4th. This means 2 to the 4th over 5 to the 4th. And then this whole is raised to x minus 1 from the given. Then, by power rule for exponents, we will multiply these two exponents. So by distributive property, that will become 4 times x, 4x, 4 times negative 1, negative 4. Notice that both bases in the left-hand and the right-hand sides of the equation are both 2 fifths. So that means we may equate their exponents already. So 3x is equal to 4x minus 4. And then to solve for x, we will use ATE. We will add negative 4x to, the, to both sides. So we'll arrive at negative x equals negative 4. And then we will use MPE by dividing or multiplying both sides by negative 1. And we'll arrive at x equals 4. That is the value of this x. You may check it for yourself. Example 3. Find k in 9 raised to k over 2 power equals 1 over 81 to the 3k minus 7. This is the given equation. We are going to solve for the unknown variable k which functions as an exponent in this equation. So the first goal to meet again is to make their bases equal or the same. How will we express 1 over 81 in terms of 9? We all know that 81 is 9 squared, so this part may be rewritten as 1 over 9 squared. However, 1 over 9 is not yet 9. For us to make this 9, we must move this to the numerator. And by negative exponents rule, we know that if the exponent in the denominator is positive, when you move it to the numerator, it will become negative. And suppose this is negative, it will become positive 2 in the numerator. So in this particular example, when we move 9 squared, which is in the denominator, to the numerator, it will become 9 to the negative 2. Notice that both bases are 9. So they are equal already. So this time, we may equate their exponents. k over 2 equals 
the product of these two by the power rule of four exponents. So that is k over 2 equals negative 2 times the quantity 3k minus 7. To arrive at the value of k, we may first multiply both sides by positive 2 in order to eliminate this denominator or you may first do distributive property. Whatever you do first, you'll arrive at the, at the same answer. So this time, I choose to use MPE first or multiply both sides by positive 2 in order to eliminate or to cancel these two. So k over 2 times 2 is k and when I multiply this part by 2, it will become negative 4 times this binomial. And then by distributive property, this will become k equals negative 12k from negative 4 times 3k and negative 4 times negative 7 is positive 28. By APE, by adding positive 12k to both sides, we'll get 13k equals 28. And then by MPE, by dividing both sides by 13, we'll get k equals 28 over 13. So this is the value of this k. It's easy when you understand the concept, right? Until next time!